everybody and welcome back to my channel. We're going to ignore the fact that if you did see my last video that I am in the exact same outfit. For some reason people have a real issue with people like filming everything on the same day, want people to wear different clothes. I don't know why, I might look into that one day, but we're not doing it here. As some of you may know from my last Britney Spears video, I said I wasn't going to be doing another one unless new information came to light. And I honestly meant what I said. I felt like I put my opinion of her situation out there and I stand by it still. I feel like a lot of you agreed, so thank you. I loved the feedback and the comments and just, yeah, the love I got on that video was great. I do, however, have a lot of thoughts that I did not share about her husband, Sam Asghari. Now for bloody legal reasons, everything stated here other than dates and timelines are just my opinion. But no one is saying what I think they need to be saying about this guy. And I'm just gonna plonk my cards on the table and just walk away. So let's get into it. Sam Asghari first met Britney Spears back in October 2016 during the filming of her last music video, Slumber Party. Rumors soon surfaced as early as November that the two were in a full-blown relationship but only became official in January of 2017. For a long time, fans didn't really care for this relationship due to Britney's team seemingly hiring him to do a role, which if you look at Britney's past relationships post Kevin Federline, that was pretty standard. Seeing as her ex-fiance or alleged ex-husband, depending which court documents you've read, had been her agent from 2006. Which honestly is a whole video in itself again. But yeah, it just seems like another way for Britney's team to control her. So fans thought that Sam was very much encouraged and paid to keep an eye on Britney and be her babysitter, which again, he was payrolled during the conservatorship as her personal chef. Let's just keep that in mind <laughs> for at least for the years, Sam was fine with Britney being in the conservatorship. It financially benefited him. When asked about it, he would say that it was what was best for her and she was doing well. Or frankly, he would just dodge their question. Which, hang on, we know for a fact that Britney hated that conservatorship. You reckon she never mentioned it to him? How unfair it was? The mistreatment she was going through? He didn't think to try to be her mouthpiece when she couldn't speak out? Now, I'm gonna give him benefit of the doubt. Let's play devil's advocate. That he was worried he may be removed from the team. One thing that bothers me and still does is why he suddenly decided to support the, Brit the Free Britney movement in late June, 2021 by wearing a Free Britney t-shirt on his Instagram. Was it because he knew where this was going? Look, I hate conspiracy theories, but I'm just looking at this as someone who just can't help but notice something off. They very shortly got engaged. They got engaged in September 12, 2021. The conservatorship ended in November of 2021. They got married on June 9th of 2022, which honestly, that's fine. You know, she had waited for freedom this long. She probably did want to get married pretty quickly. During her conservatorship speech, she said that she wanted to be free to drive her car, to have her money, all of those things, which seemingly it did look like she was about to get those things slowly, slowly. However, her Instagram posts have people worried. They're the same cry for help type of post she used to have back when she was in the conservatorship. And people are now accusing Sam of being the one in control of her Instagram due to the fact that people are saying in photos that he's clearly photoshopped in. Reports that they live in separate houses, both saying conflicting information. Things are just not looking right. His response to that is this, and I quote, I don't even control what we have for dinner. So that wasn't the question that was asked. <laughs> he then went on to say, the only person in the world that gets bullied for posting things like this I personally preferred she never posted these, but who am I to control someone who's been under a microscope and been controlled for most of her life? You're her husband. That's who you are. Listen, Sam, if you truly, and I mean truly cared to have a relationship worth of it being marriage, which the number one bloody thing you have to have in a marriage or a relationship 
let alone a legal binding contract with someone to be with them forever, is trust. Please enlighten us on why did you even get married to Brittany if you can't even have the open and honest conversation with her about stuff that upsets you? The conversation could go like this. Hey Brittany, I know you don't like the idea of being controlled and I'm not one to tell you what to do. We've built trust up. You know I appreciate you, love you, all that stuff. But honey, you are my wife. And these videos of you being naked or half naked and flaunting your great body, I just would prefer it if that is kept from me. That's a part of you I really don't like sharing with the world, babe. And I'm sure if I started doing the same things, you would take issue with that. So please, babe, could we maybe talk about this kind of thing before you post it? Like, sure, you can say Brittany isn't ready for that kind of conversation. Okay, so what are you gonna do to help her then? What are you doing to give her a safe space? Safe people she can confide in. You love her so much, then why aren't you providing that for her? No, instead, you're taking her out to dinner and then proceeding to ditch her, in your words, to go get the car, whilst leaving her to get filmed for it to be sold to TMZ. Which honestly, from what I hear, it looks like you had some sort of involvement in that, allegedly. Please don't sue. The only video that's come out from that is that one video, and from what I can see and a few others, it looks like you've messed with the audio. And because Britney's voice doesn't even match her lips, it looks like it's a terrible lip sync. The person who posted it made sure to make it as blurry as possible to make sure people really couldn't tell that the lips weren't matching the voice. Allegedly, allegedly. The lawyer lady up there in the booth is telling me to say allegedly. That's a whole video in itself, but yeah, I do think TMZ completely set that whole thing up. Back to Sam. But besides the point, where the hell did you go, Sam? I know I would be pissed if my partner left me in that situation for me to be photographed and videoed when you know my past you know everything that i've gone through to get to where i am today like honestly let's be real here i don't believe for a second you went to that restaurant without an assistant or without some form of security it's britney spears you know public places are not a safe place for her for not getting photographed, to not get harassed. So a team is what she has. That's what she actually needs. I'm not saying the girl can't go out in public and go to a nice restaurant, but hey, maybe ring the freaking restaurant and say, hey, we need a table at the back. We need a private room. We need something to keep people away so she can have her privacy. Okay, I'm gonna give you benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna make you think, okay, maybe you didn't book anything, maybe you did just rock up at a restaurant, sat down, okay? You really weren't thinking that day. What were you thinking when you saw people filming her to go get the car? You just left her alone. Why did you not take her with you to go get the car? You don't need her to sit there like a child waiting. Like she can come and walk with you and be protected by you knowing that you're there, helping her, shielding her from these people. No, just leave her to sit there. And honestly, what are you even talking to the press about it afterwards? Oh, I get it, to clear your image. Not Britney's. Honestly, dude, may I suggest you crack a fucking book on relationships? Because dude, you need to put your ego aside. You knew who you married and what comes with it. So deal with it. To summarize, do I think he's controlling your Instagram? I don't think so. I don't think he needs to. I think he personally, he's playing this role, always has, and is just this yes man to Britney and reckons with her coming off all of her medications that she'll either end up back in some sort of conservatorship that he will get to be a major part of, or he's just waiting for her to mentally crack without trying to get her any help so that he really gets her sectioned and he gets to live his life with the, her money. He doesn't need to do anything. So no, I don't think he's controlling her Instagram or even anything at all. I think that's honestly half the problem. His hands are clean. Morally though, that's up for debate. No one in her old team needs to do a damn thing. The damage was done way prior to that conservatorship ending and they knew that. I just hope I'm wrong and that somehow Britney makes through it through all this 
and gets the life she has always wanted. Sam, I hope you at least are trying to make her happy. And I really hope I'm wrong about you, I really do. I swear these people get into Hollywood and people just see dollar signs and just fall into this money addiction. I talked about it in my last video and honestly, I think I'm gonna have to make a video about it because it is such a epidemic in America in that whole Hollywood area that no one talks about. It is a huge addiction, greed and fame, disgusting. I'm just gonna go on a really small, slight tangent. I really don't wanna take any more of your time, but I like to try to give some sort of thoughts into any of my videos and a takeaway that I want people to have and to reflect upon, and this is mine. If you, like Sam, cannot have conversations, like the example I gave that he could have, obviously, you do it a lot better than me. I was just going off the cuff. If you can't have conversations like that, open and honest and true with the person you want to spend the most time with, regardless if you believe in marriage or not, you seriously need to ask yourself why you're with them if you can't even trust yourself to talk to them. If you think that they won't receive that information well, they aren't willing to be there back for you and help you through your tough times and to help to navigate together, then why are you in that relationship? Anyway, on that buzzkill, I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, uh, think about leaving a like. <laughs> If you like content like this, think about subscribing. I would honestly love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, what you think of Sam and Brittany's relationship, if you're pro it, if you hate it, would love to hear it. If you think I'm way off, please let me know. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a great day, great week, month, life, if I never see you again after this video. Anyway, much love to you all, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next video.